Isaiah 42 verses 1 to 9. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break and a smouldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on the earth. In his teaching the islands will put their hope. This is what the Lord says, the creator of the heavens, who stretches them out, who spreads out the earth and all that springs from it, who gives breath to its people and life to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and make you to be a covenant for the people and a light to the Gentiles, to open the eyes that are blind, to free the captives from prison and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not yield my glory to another or my praise to idols. See, the former things have taken place and new things I declare. Before they spring into being, I will announce them to you. As we begin the Advent season, we read the familiar prophecy in Isaiah, written hundreds of years before Christ's birth, regarding his servant and what he would do. But how much do we pay attention to that description of what he is to achieve? He will bring justice to the nations, not just one nation, all nations. He will establish justice on earth in his teaching the islands, that is the far off places, will put their hope. And further on, to be a covenant for the people and a light to the Gentiles, to open the eyes that are blind, to free the captives from prison and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness. Christ came to bring justice, hope, light, freedom, and release to all people. Those who try to claim God as exclusive to the Jews had no excuse as this passage makes clear. And how will he do this? God will put his spirit on him. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice. A bruised reed he will not break or a smouldering wick he will not snuff out. God will take hold of your hand and keep him and make him to be a covenant for the people. God does not change. His manifesto does not change. And we, as followers of Christ, are also God's servants. We, his church, his body here on earth, are called to continue to bring his love to the whole world. We are called to bring justice, hope, light, freedom and release to all people. And the method by which we will do this has not changed either. God makes his spirit available to those who would be his servants. We do not need to cry out or make a noise or a show. We must simply show God's love. A bruised reed he will not break. We must not snuff out a smouldering wick. But we must take God's hand and God will keep us as we look to God's new covenant coming down to us this Christmas season. <laughs>